An eagle's favorite tactic is to rush at prey with a stone from above and deliver a crushing blow with their claws, which look like huge hooks. This tactic is so effective that an eagle can defeat an animal 10 times heavier than itself. Now you will see the most epic attacks of these birds of prey. Eagles are real life fighters. They know a lot about air combat tactics. Look how a bird of prey attacked a goose right in flight. A powerful blow that knocks down a bird like a bullet. She tries to stay in the air, leaving a trail of torn fluff behind her. But the eagle breaks her spine and finishes her off. Predators often attack prey that exceeds their mass. But eagles in this regard are the record holders among vertebrates. A feathered warrior attacks a deer, an animal almost 10 times heavier than itself. But despite this advantage, the ungulate is not able to escape. The enemy's grip is so powerful. The first blow of the eagle has already caused internal damage to the deer. He tries to fight back, to escape, but soon the bird gets to his neck with its curved beak. This fox thought that the eagle wanted to steal his prey. No, the eagle wanted to catch the fox himself. The bird strikes with jeweler's precision and with such tremendous force that it literally demolishes the victim. The fox flies up to the height of a man, does a few somersaults, and it becomes a dinner for the eagle. In addition, the golden eagle can deliver a crushing blow to the fox so as to drag it along the ground and stun it. Although the fangs and agility of the red robber cannot be underestimated, and he could bite the throat of the enemy, the feathered easily suppresses him. The struggle on Earth ends with the saddest outcome for the fox. The golden eagle quickly overcomes him due to the fact that it balances with the help of wings. This gives him the opportunity to fight with both clawed paws at once and leaves the fox no chance. It turns a predator that often preys on birds into a victim. This powerful bird is a real magician, isn't it? Definitely deserves your like on this video. In general, eagles are a whole group of birds that belong to daytime predators. This family also includes hawks, buzzards, kites, as well as old world vultures, snake eaters, and some other birds. Falcons and ospreys are their closest relatives. They are called daytime predators, as opposed to owls, nocturnal predators. And the definition perfectly describes the lifestyle that eagles lead. They eat only meat and hunt prey during daylight hours. Moreover, eagles attack victims right in the air, during flight, and also attack those animals that are on the ground. This makes the birds quite versatile fighters who are able to adapt well to different conditions. Eagles have several superpowers. Opportunities and advantages of a unique body structure that take them to a completely different level relative to most other birds. First of all, it's super speed. You may know that the fastest mammal is the cheetah, which accelerates to an incredible 74 miles per hour, 119 kilometers per hour, which is almost twice the speed of a horse and three times that of human athletes. So, the peregrine falcon easily demolishes the cheetah. The cat would envy this speed. Over 200 miles per hour, 322 kilometers per hour, this bird is the fast animal in the world, and its advantage is simply huge. In general, they are one of the best masters of flight. Birds of fray are able to both plan on ascending air currents that save energy and engage in active flight, vigorously moving their wings and thereby gain tremendous speed but they move the fastest when they fall with folded wings. Of course, someone might say that these birds are cheaters. 
After all, they achieve such incredible speed thanks to special tactics. Falcons and hawks soar up and then fold their wings and fall like a stone on their prey. That is, gravity becomes their accelerator. But in fact, this is another superpower of daytime birds of prey. Jewelry flight control. Even with folded wings, a falcon or an eagle can change the direction of falling, turn around and with lightning speed, and most importantly take off into the air again, spreading its wings. Thanks to acceleration, a bird weighing as much as a cat can strike a blow that will surpass a bear's in power. And flight control makes it possible to hit exactly the vulnerable spots of prey. In the head, the neck, along the spine, like for example here. The falcon delivered a powerful blow to the rabbit's spine. Big Eared is still alive, but his body is shaken by terrible convulsions due to damage to the nervous system. He will not be able to escape. In addition, excellent control allows the birds of prey to perform extremely risky maneuvers. For example, it hunts creatures that live near the surface of reservoirs. In general, eagles cannot dive, their feathers will get wet, and the bird will quickly drown if the wings get completely wet. But eagles calculate the height and force of their wings so accurately that they have learned to fly up to the water with lightning speed and then slow down and practically hover over its surface. Then the bird snatches the prey and immediately changes the direction of flight to climb up again. The most famous birds that pull off such a trick are bald eagles. But besides them, there are other species of birds of prey capable of such a dangerous and impressive trick. This way of life means that the eagle's character is literally fearless. So the honey badger will envy their bravery. Due to this, eagles often attack large animals and even other predators that seem to have the advantage of greater mass and strength. If you think that diving is the only aerobatics that eagles possess, then you're mistaken. They do not necessarily need to use the acceleration of free fall to accelerate to the speed of a sports car. Just look at the hunting of this bald eagle. Its prey is smaller and lighter, but powerful wings allow the predator to easily catch up with prey and amazing control and reaction speed give him no less maneuverability. So eagles are capable of long chases almost as well as lightning attacks. The bird's body has excellent aerodynamic characteristics. So, if you want to design the perfect sports car of the future, then you know what to be inspired by. During a normal horizontal flight, Birds of prey are also able to move incredibly fast. The falcon can catch up with the car. There is a rare video of an eagle attacking an airplane. It's hard to say if this really happened, but if so, the bird struck several blows on the wing of the device as if it was some uninvited guest who needed to be slapped in the face to just get out. Boars and warhogs are pretty serious opponents. Even large predators can find it difficult to cope with them. But the skill of eagles in attacks from the sky is so great that the boar has little chance. The eagle swoops down on the prey at an angle and delivers a crushing blow. Sharp claws act like a sickle, but the eagle's task is not just to damage the skin or blood vessels. He breaks his neck and his spine. And after that, the eagle can safely walk around with its prey in one paw. It seems as if he got into something and is dissatisfied with going to clean shoes. But in fact, the bird is glad that now she has lunch. When the whole pride goes hunting, almost no one can resist them. A dozen lionesses pose a real threat to an adult elephant or hippo. Here you can see how a dozen lionesses discovered a leopard's lair in the thickets on their territory. They decided that they could quickly deal with a competitor with such a huge numerical advantage. 
while they clearly underestimated the enemy. The leopard refused to give up. He used his favorite defensive tactic. He lay on his back to defend himself with all four paws. Of course, the jaws of the lionesses and their powerful blows were very dangerous, and the leopard is wounded. But he shows no signs of fatigue. It seems that with each injury, he fights back only more fiercely. The tactics of lionesses are simple and effective. Pounce from different sides, stretch the leopard by the limbs, and get to his stomach. But the leopard won't let them do it. He keeps his nerve and fights back very effectively. Each of his blows reaches the goal, and the spotted predator is aiming directly at the aggressive lioness's muzzle. This makes her cool down. They just don't know what to do with it, because every approach to the leopard threatens the lioness to lose her eyes. On the other hand, the leopard can't escape either. As soon as he gets up, the lionesses will attack him from behind, pounce from the side and overwhelm him, and then finish him off. A desperate situation? Unfortunately, yes, she has a sad end. The lioness waited until the leopard ran out of strength and dealt with him. But no one expected such desperate resistance. There is hardly a predator who would give such a worthy fight to a dozen of predators. A sad story. But this is not how every meeting of a leopard with a pride of lions ends. Something similar happened here. One leopard was surrounded. Moreover, there is a male among the lions, and against this giant with combat experience, the leopard has no chance. However, lions do not show too much aggression. The leopard rebuffed the lioness in the same way, lay down, and put all four paws against her. This cooled her ardor. The leopard was able to seize the moment and escaped. Not only did he save his life, but he also escaped any injuries. Probably no one wanted to mess with such a fierce opponent. And what do you think? Was the leopard able to escape thanks to its own fighting qualities, or did the lion just let it go? Share your version in the comments. Perhaps the lion just didn't want to get involved, because the leopard couldn't claim their territory. And to fight with him is guaranteed to get a lot of pain. Here, the leopard was also surrounded by the pride, and this time it was taken seriously. The female surrounded the leopard and did not allow him to escape. The male approached from the flank and attacked the spotted predator like a live battering ram, grabbed, and began to inflict terrible blows and bites. That's just the leopard did not give up, but dug into the enemy with all his paws at once. The lion is just shocked by such pressure. He pulled his own muzzle out of the tight grip with a clear reluctance to fall into the claws of the leopard again. Although the spotted cat received several heavy blows, he was able to escape. There was even a rare shot when a leopard was able to fight back against a male lion. Of course, the spotted cat had to run away, but because the lion was too close to him, the leopard had to turn around and counter-attack. Several retaliatory blows, although they did not cause serious damage to the lion, were able to force him to stop, which gave the leopard a couple of seconds to disperse and escape. Few predators like action as much as the leopard. Wild animals constantly face challenges and demonstrate strength. But this spotted predator seems to just enjoy the ride of it all. Two cheetahs caught an antelope. Both are adult and strong predators. But the leopard was not afraid of their numerical advantage and decided to recapture the legitimate prey. This is risky. Cheetahs often avoid fights because if their limbs are injured, they will lose the opportunity to chase their prey at their exorbitant speeds. But if two cheetahs grapple with one leopard, the outcome of such a fight is pretty unpredictable. However, here the strength of character is clearly on the side of our hero. The cheetahs are retreating. That's just not the end of our story. It turned out that a lioness was watching this whole situation. A leopard takes its prey up a tree when a larger cat starts chasing it. But the lioness is definitely not afraid of a fight. If her sister is injured, she will be covered and fed until she recovers. The leopard clearly does not like the situation. He has just robbed two competitors, as now he is being robbed himself. Moreover, the lioness, unlike the heavier male, is elegant enough to climb trees and continue the chase already there. 
Unpleasant, but not hopeless. A leopard, right with an impala in its teeth, jumps even higher. It seems that he opposes not only the lioness, but also gravity. The spotted hero barely holds on to the thinnest branches. It's amazing that they can withstand its weight, especially with an impala. The lioness is no longer able to climb so high. She is also at risk. It is dangerous for her to fall from the height of the third floor. In the end, the leopard was the winner. Has the leopard surprised you yet? Well, get ready, because now you will be in real shock from the exploits of this wild cat. The fact is that he is capable of something that even lions avoid. Intrigued? So, a leopard can one-on-one cope with the most formidable creature in Africa, a honey badger. This miniature scumbag is known for the fact that compared to his level of aggression, even hyenas seem polite and meek creatures. The honey badger is not afraid of anyone at all. He boldly attacks several lions at once, takes prey from hyenas, and when a huge python the length of a minivan made a stupid mistake and attacked the honey badger, the beast not only dealt with the reptile, but also broke into the jackal, who came to the sounds of the fight and thought he was going to eat the loser. In addition to uncontrollable rage and aggression, the honey badger's trump cards are some anatomical features. He has an incredibly high pain threshold, and the skin easily moves away from the muscles. Therefore, when a larger predator presses the honey badger to the ground with its claws, the baby easily dodges and counterattacks. Sharp needle teeth and powerful paws, with which the beast tears up huge anthills, help him fight off even predators 20 times heavier than himself. And the leopard is one of the few predators that can defeat the honey badger without a numerical advantage. The honey badger clearly underestimated the enemy and decided that another overgrown self-confident cat was against him. But it would obviously be better if he hid in some narrow hole. It's harder to resist this leopard than against a pair of adult lions. The predator does not use any tricks or special tactics. The leopard simply opposes its agility and patience to the resourcefulness and fury of the honey badger. Our spotted cat cannot run long distances, but it is capable of fighting for quite a long time. A leopard is not sorry to spend his time on such a delicious lunch as a honey badger. The cat will grab the dodgy beast with its paws again and again, seize the initiative in battle, look for weak points of defense, dodge painful bites, and aim with its claws at the stomach, and with its fangs at the throat into the back of the neck. Not in every duel with the honey badger, a leopard comes out victorious, and sometimes he has to let go of a too stubborn opponent. But still, there are cases when a spotted cat celebrates victory over the fiercest predator in Africa, more often than any other panther. Which case of the unexpected demonstration of the leopard's strength surprised you the most? <laughs>